Good morning, lovely friends. How is everyone today? Welcome to Tea with Tans. I am Tans, and I have a cup of tea. If you like coffee, that is perfectly okay. Or, you know, you could hydrate and have some water. Now, am I having some issues with my desktop audio? Let's find out. We're going to start there. Duh. General sound. <sighs> Why? Oh, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. How about this? All right, give me a minute. As always, there's some technical issues going on here. Okay, well, I'm not sure what's going on, but hopefully it's fine. Anyways, oh, welcome. Hi. Oh. Watch now. There we go. Give me a sec. There we go. Now my, I can see my chat. I think we're good to go. Ha huh, diggity. So this is a new server that I just started on this weekend. It is called Mischief. It is a uh, progression server. And, uh, yeah, I am having a great time. This is my little mage, Miss Jin. She is level six. I know everyone is absolutely shocked that uh, I chose a mage. But let's be honest, starting a new server, this is the character I know the best. <laughs> um, and I, I didn't know if I was going to stream with her. I just wanted something fun and relaxing this this weekend to play and uh, this was her so currently I have some buffs from a lovely um, roving shaman who came by and oh my gosh EverQuest people are the sweetest there was a high level character over here in Kelethin the other day uh, yesterday I guess and as you can see I mostly I well I'm almost entirely wearing looted cloth stuff because Old school EverQuest is super hard. Um, I did get these, which are no better. They're actually exactly the same stats as the um, junior apprentice caster robe that you get given when you turn in your Guildmaster summons. But the color of that robe is kind of grayish seafoam green. And everybody's wearing them. And I was not crazy about it. But this was on one of the vendors, and it's exactly the same, and I think it cost me two silver, and it's so pretty. So I killed a bunch of skeletons until I had enough money, and I went and purchased them. But back to the random person, high-level character showed up yesterday and opened a trade window and gave me this. Check this out. This is amazing. It's my only statted piece, but oh my gosh, it's a good one. So yeah, anyways. Oh, hey, Larson. Good morning. So Lance, I have to get used to looking at this monitor over here. It's just, I have to turn my head just a little bit to see. So I just need to remember. So I've also already started working on my baking. I made myself some wolf sandwiches and some batwing crunchies. I was going to do the intro um, I'm sorry I'm really out of it this morning. <laughs> I was going to do the intro gear quest um, that you get from the enchanter NPC, their guild master, but he's not there. So I don't know if it's a glitch or if we just haven't reached that part yet. Maybe it wasn't available with the first expansion in EQ. So I'm not sure. So basically what we're doing right now is running around and killing stuff and looting stuff. Um, what I am going to do is head on over very shortly to the closer to Crushbone. Kill some centurions, hopefully. But uh, yeah, I was just looking for something casual and laid back to do. 
I do have this, which is kind of sweet, a bottle of adventure. So I don't know how many people are familiar with this um, unlock progression thing, but you don't, I thought you had no access to any of your stuff. Like I can't use my, my awesome, you know, where'd it go? Anyways, uh, you can't claim any of the stuff like your starting kit or anything like that, but it turns out I could claim this. So I thought, what the heck? Every little bit helps. All right, so let's get you. Let's try to shake off the cobwebs out of my brain this morning. Have some more of my tea. That will help. Now let's just do it all and let's move that to here. All right. I wanted to readjust my UI because I do understand that it's a little bit busy and it's hard to see for people viewing um, loot, but I also need to be able to see where everything is. I tend to get hyper-focused, blame the ADHD folks. All right. You go here. You go here and you go right about here. That seems good. All right. Oh, no. Let's see, I need this like this because then it's right close. I don't know. I don't know if anybody else does that kind of thing. Uh, I think the answer probably is that most people key bind <laughs> and then you don't have to worry about it, but that's not something I've ever been able to um, make work for me. Uh, you get him. It's been a long time since I've leveled over here. Usually I'm in the tutorial and I'm just finding this kind of awesome. I thought this would be really fun because I thought with any luck as I level up, I think it's level 15. Once um, LDON drops, I can maybe do some adventures. That was one of my favorite things to do when I was playing originally. Get them. So I do not have a guild yet. Uh, I am on the lookout. If anybody plays on mischief and they have a guild and they wanted to, uh, have a brand new little mage. I'm happy to join you. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Sit. Med. So there is no plane of knowledge right now, which is so weird for me. I'm used to running there. So, um, this is really cool. It's very, very old school, but I'm enjoying it a great deal. Loot. Hi friend. I wish I had a buff to give you, but I don't yet. All right. So you know what we're going to, let's have a look at our, all right. So we're that far into six. I'm going to head out this way. Make sure I'm going the correct way. Not really, sort of. Uh, this way. Okay. It's been a while. So I'm looking forward to being able to kill the big spiders. I need to start getting spider silk so I can start working on her tailoring. Maybe make some gear. But last time I was, I think they're level 10 and I'm only level six. And no buffs, no anything like that. So I don't know that I can kill them. I might be able to try, but we'll see. Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Um, question to chat. Are you able to hear the in-game music? Because I can, but my desktop audio setting thing is not showing me any... Um, any input and I don't know what's up with that. So 
if you can't, uh, let me know. See if I can fix it because the music's quite lovely. Where even am I? I am near Butcher Block. Okay. So, over here somewhere. It's been so long since I've been over here. I don't really remember where everything is. I know there are a bunch of orcs. Which is kind of what we want. But... I'm not sure. Hold on. Let's see. What else do we have? Let's turn that up a bit. There we go. There's a fairy. We're not going to mess with the fairies. Where even I like, oh, okay. So there's a dude. Let's get, oh, you're just a pawn. You're no fun. So where is the hill? I will kill you though. My little pixie trickster friend. Ooh. Mm, but you don't have any stats. Yes, please. Not even armor class. Okay, so let's run this way. Aha! No, that's a tree. I preemptively ahad. Uh, I don't know where it is. Where's Orkel? I don't know if you can hear all that running and skittering. That would be cats playing upstairs. They are very, very loud. So this is the way to Butcher Block. So this is where all of the... I'm not big enough. Oh, it's not Butcher Block. I want anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I just figured out my, my issue. My issue number one is I need more caffeine. We'll just get you as our as we go by. We are actually going to Crushbone, as I might have mentioned earlier. We're not actually going to Crushbone, but we're going over here. Where all this stuff is. Um, there we go. Loot. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I hope I'm not the only one who has these days. really not this addled generally. Well, you know, just about. Oh, 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 you're white to me. We're going to try to get you. Hi, friend. Do you have some silk for me? A coyote? Oh, you're yellow. Never mind. As you were. Keep on going. All right. Let's, let's throw some new kids. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're doable. No spider silk. What? Well, okay. We'll just call that one a practice. <laughs> Ow. Ow. Oh my goodness. Tams, work with me. All right. Pet attack. Hi. I need some mana. Oh, I'm in mourning for the clarity that I lost. Well, my own brain too, but uh, some lovely enchantress bestowed upon me the gift of clarity. And it was at this level, oh, you can't burn through your mana fast enough. It's so good. I'm going to drop this in my, there we go. Oh, well, aren't you just... Not my favorite. Whee! Whee! So they have left some quality of life um, things in here. So it's not quite as hardcore and dire as it was in the original, which I have mixed feelings on. Um, there's a really nostalgic part of my brain that's like, I want to be running through the forest yelling, has anyone seen my corpse? But in practice, 
probably less so. <laughs> so I'm not going to complain too much. Um, the looting's easier. Uh, there's a lot of stuff like that that's great. So I, I think the balance is pretty good. And for anybody wondering, I am currently on all access. Oh, what are you? Oh, you're Lelo. Are you a, you're a shaman. Okay, so you're a cat. I do not want two of you. I do not have enough mana to deal with two of you. So I really don't know that I want to deal with the caster, but let's see. Jera seems to be doing well. Oh, we don't have mercenaries. That's another thing I'm sure you've noticed, which I am super okay with. So this old school leveling is, is pretty sweet. Um, aha. All right. They have left the, um, I do have Bruel's maps though, and it has all the information, which, you know, if I actually read the map properly, I would have not had any problems finding where I was going, but you know, Actually, you know what? Let's just go right over to the hill, not just kind of on the edge. See if we can do this without aggroing an entire camp full of orcs. Oh, um, you know what? No, we're just going to go right here. Here seems good. Oh my goodness. Look at all of them. All right. So we need to sit for a moment. Do 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 do. No, look at my loyal friend standing there guarding me. Okay, good enough. As long as we don't get 8,000 other mobs, it will be good enough. All right. I'm going to nuke pull and we'll see what happens. Um, hello. Did I move? Apparently I did. Oh, fizzling. I remember fizzling. I guess he's just too far away. That is very strange. All right. Well, we'll sit for a minute. I guess I could do this. Oh, nuts and bolts. Oh, no. This is going to be so bad. Oh, I don't even have any mana left. Oh, no. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't know that I can. Oh, yeah, he's going to. Oh, no. No. He's going to die. Oh, Jer, I hardly knew ye. All right, so we are going to high tail it. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, no. Oh, no, guys. What did I do? I forgot that I'm a wee little thing with no gear. <laughs> oh, train to, train to lift. Guards, guards, protect me. All right, so we're just going to regroup. Oh, no. Well, that was exciting. Yay, Spirit of Wolf. <laughs> Gives me a little bit of a, you know, head start. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, apparently I left my cell phones. Buzzy thing buzzying. What is that? Yeah. 
random people sending me random things. I don't know. All right, let's see. Who are you? Oh, that's a bad get bandit cap camp. I have gone not quite the way I want to go. There we go. All right. Are those orcs still chasing me? Possibly not. Do I dare pause and find out? Absolutely not. Um, no, this way, this way, this way. I am so far off where I want to be. Where's my lift? Oh dear. All right, so I sort of know where I am now. No, I don't. Oh, nuts, he found me. No! See, this is why we don't stop. All right, see if we can find where we're going. All else fails, follow the path, follow the path, follow the path. No, 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 don't kill me. Please don't kill me, I will be sad. Run, run little mage, run. Oh no, oh no, oh no, I'm so lost. I'm all out of love, I'm so lost without you. I found the lift, they will save me. Guards, guard friends, uh oh, ah, uh, guard friends, guard friends, oh, there's one. Hi, I have a problem. Could you, could, could you, could you, could you take care of him for me? Oh, thanks, friend. Oh my goodness, that was scary. All right, so what I'm going to do uh, is not what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go loot stuff, but I'm not going to because I don't have a pet. All right, so. Oh, fizzling. Oh, fizzling. So that was almost near death. Very exciting. All right. Let's get you. Oh, we need mana. Who are you? Poor Ginny. So when I say old school EverQuest was a little bit hardcore, this is kind of what I mean. All right, how's the mana? Well, I can summon one danger. There you go, friend. I do need two, can I summon the other one? I don't know, we'll find out, let's see. Ah, yes, there we go. I am almost encumbered. So, you know what, we're gonna go up and sell. Hello. There we go. Doo, doo, doo. So this is my favorite quality of life thing ever added to EverQuest because when I played, you had set views you could use. You could not do this. And oh my goodness, was it brutally hard. So this 360 view, so good. Get rid of that, and that, and that. And yes, at this level, I loot everything. So I'm still encumbered. What is going on? It's probably this stuff, right? Okay, so you know what I'm going to do while we wait for mana? Um, there should be a banker. Aha. Uh, I love the find path. Back when I played originally, my computer wasn't good enough to run, to have it run. 
and it would leg me up and I couldn't move. It was terrible. And no, I still don't completely remember Kelefin. It, it's, it's a little confusing. Even now. Hi, banker. I'd like to drop some stuff off that I don't really need right now. Some brownie parts. Ew. This will be for my shaman for later. What are you? Wolf meat. Chunk of meat. Rat wings. Is there anything else? Uh, I don't think we need that. I don't think we need this. I should go get another backpack, though. Hey, Dab. Welcome. Good morning. How are you doing? Uh, and find. Thank you all. Don't run off the edge of the world. It is death. Now, did I go the right way? I did. Ha ha. Ah. Oh. Sometimes I remember things. Open. Backpack. One. I am okay. Um, been up for a long time, still struggling to get my brain to process things the right way, but uh, I'm having fun and relaxing a little bit, playing some EverQuest. Uh, where the heck and gone am I? Oh, <laughs> there we go. How's my mana? 25%. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oof. All right, let's kill stuff. Pet attack. Sit. There we go. Uh. So my plan kind of for streaming is I'd like to try to stream every day or, you know, five days a week or so. Wednesdays, usually Wednesdays, are sketchy for me because I have to go sing. Um, and this week it's on Tuesday, but I still think maybe when I get back, I will. I haven't committed to a time schedule yet because I just don't know. Still trying to figure things out. I am still freshly back. So you're going to hit me, aren't you? Yep. You jerk. Oh, hi. Oh my goodness, look, it's Times Orphan. It is a Tams. Um, and if you check in my back videos, there might have been a Tams and a Nick earlier, I think on the weekend. Or, yeah, Friday? Friday. Um, Nick can't commit to being back because school. But he has said that when I need help, he will come out and we're working on <laughs> my mage 1.0 epic. And uh, we went and killed Finny. Finny was there. We found our way to Finny and the jerk didn't drop it. And then we went looking for the stupid Pegasus. And guess who never showed up? The stupid Pegasus. <sighs> Hi, Met. It has been. It has been. And it's probably, it's been longer than that since I've been, um, steadily streaming it has been oh hi salem salem just woke up uh, yeah right the joys of eq um it's like everyone else in the world it's been a uh, rough couple of years sit <laughs> to that yeah it has been a while um so i guess the I guess the catch oh salem Yes, everyone says hi. Hi, Salem. No, you're not coming on my lap right now. Uh, so the, the catch-up, I guess, is... Uh, that, that would be my cat. My cat is um, 
is is having a cry fest. I don't know if you can hear him, but he's uh, he is meowing behind me. So uh, we had, you know, the, the the little world sickness problem that that happened. Um, and then I, uh, last year, I guess um, we lost my dad, not to not to the pandemic, but just suddenly. And so I just really, oh, Salem, enough. I got to watch my pet because his health is, is going down. I uh, really didn't, just, just couldn't, just couldn't stream. Um, and then this year I've just, like the last little while, I've been thinking, I really think I want to, I think I really want to do this again. Um, so it's, it's fun. Um, last week was, oh, Salem enough. <laughs> oh, my Salem. Oh my goodness. All right, come here. You can come on my lap while I med. Okay. There's a fireplace right there for you, buddy. His old bones. He just, he just wants to be snuggled. Uh, so last week was a bit of a difficult one. I'm still kind of dealing with, uh, we adopted two ferals last Christmas, two feral cats, and we're told they were very little, still kittens. And it turned out they were not so much really little. And uh, the girl was pregnant and she had six kittens and we homed, see, let me go brush up against my spit screen, please. Ah! Oh, life with pets. You're going to make it fall down, aren't you? Yes, you are. Uh, sorry guys, hold on. The screw thing is unscrewed because my cat has decided to rub his face on it because he loves it. Can you not? Can you not? Okay, so we're going without a spit screen. Um, there we go. All right, pet attack. Steal and break. Yes, exactly. So we adopted two ferals, had six kittens. We homed three, we kept three. Um, and one of them, Simon, uh, orange tabby, I was jokingly saying he was my soulmate. He, um, his favorite thing is to lie flipped upside down in my arms and the kittens are six months old now. And last week, Sayla, or Simon got really sick and we rushed him to the vet and found out that he had managed to find somewhere a piece of string and it impacted in his intestines. And the vet was very, very nice, but, uh, vets, I don't know how common this is where you guys are from, but I'm in Ontario, Canada and they don't do, uh, no vets in my area do, um, payment plans. So you have to pay for everything up front. And it was $5,000 for his surgery for a six month old kitten. And, uh, they gave me two options. Uh, well, three options, one pay, which I called everyone I knew, all of my family, and we just could not put together that kind of money. Um, euthanize, which wasn't something I really wanted to do, or surrender him. And so I asked the vet, you know, can you save him? And she said, yeah, absolutely. Um, he needs the surgery. He won't live without it, but we can do the surgery and he'll live. So I had to surrender him. And what that means is they saved his life. As far as I know, they've cut ties with me. They can't let me know anything. And then they surrender him to an animal shelter, which has been incredibly heartbreaking. And, uh, I'm still having a lot of problems with it. So I thought, you know what? I don't want to be alone all the time right now. So I am streaming. So let's, I'm going to stop bringing y'all down because you know what? I saved him. So a lot of people wouldn't have had that option. So I'm feeling pretty good about that part. And uh, Salem is here as always getting really old. My boy is 16 now. A eh? cranky old man. Uh, he loves the other cats. So we still have the two that we took in initially. Oh, thank you so much. I miss you guys. You're so sweet. Um, Watch your pet. Don't let it 
Sorry, Earth Dude. There we go. Uh, so we still have the two, uh, Charlie and Vantum. And they are... Uh, we're just going to sit for a minute. Poor little Veb. They are a hoot. Uh, Charlie's the mommy. And she's still very feral. Um, they're very gentle. They're very, very sweet. Just very scared. But Charlie's coming out of her shell. Vantum is a giant goofball. Um, and we still have the other two. And they are two little girls. And one is named Fergus. Because we thought she was a boy. And my mom named her after Fergus from Supernatural. The King of Hell. And the other one is Bean. Jelly Bean. And she has a little, she's a little tortie with a little bean on her head. And she's lovely too. So, yes, I know. I know. I can't stop taking into strays. Eh? It wouldn't have been so bad, but uh, Steph and I both lost our jobs in the last month due to restructuring, which means they're getting rid of all the full timers so they can do part time, which nah, frustrating. So if anybody needs a virtual assistant or needs any work done on, you know, the Internet, I'm happy to to oblige. Oh, but I do have lots of good news. I do have lots of good news. So first piece of good news. I have mentioned this before, so forgive me. Anybody watching who has already heard this, um, uh, pet attack. I have my first book coming out December 1st. It will be available on Amazon and uh, Barnes and Noble, I believe, and a couple of other places, but Amazon's definitely the cheapest place. And I get the best... Um, as residuals, it is an urban fantasy, meaning it takes place in real life, like in modern day, but it has supernatural elements. It's called Siren. It's about a musician, a singer, who finds out that she isn't who she thought she was all of these years. Yes, I'm so happy. It's taken me forever to get it edited and uh, done. Uh, the publishing was a uh, was quite a process. I think I submitted to about 25 different publishers. And the rejections that I got were all um, really, really good. From Penguin, um, their rejection was... I love your style. I love your writing. This story is fantastic. We are not currently uh, publishing this genre right now, but please do reach out to other publishers. Here are some suggestions because uh, it's very likely you'll find a home elsewhere, which was really cool. Um, but a couple of those places said, we love the story. It's very good, but there is no romance subplot. Well, the book takes place over a two-week period in very high, stressful, you know, life-ending situation. And I just... When? When would there be time for romance? <laughs> so, a uh, pet attack. But uh, it, was a, it was a weird, long, long, long process. Yeah, two-week romances, right? No, not so much. Um... And, and the, the weird part is, I mean, I'm super excited. I'm very excited. This is something I've, I've been trying to do for a very, very long time. Um, but yes, exactly. We're ready to be married. No, this is not a historical Christian romance. <laughs> um, but what, what has been really weird is, yes, I'm excited. But what I really want to do is I want to put a little, a little asterisk, a little addendum to all of my, you know, talking about it and say, oh yes, please, please buy it and read it and share it. But oh my gosh, wait till you read what I'm writing now because it's so, so much better. This was written a few years ago and I've learned so much and I'm so much better now. So don't judge me by this book. Uh, it's such a weird experience and I think I'm going to go through that every time I publish something. But, um, so I have several books in the process. I have one almost finished. Uh, like a, a brand new one that is getting to the point where we're going to start editing and maybe start submitting by the end of winter, which is exciting. Um, I've also been doing a lot of designing. I have a ton of, thank you, Salem. 
for knocking things. Um, journals, so blank journals that you would purchase to write stuff in, be it journaling or, you know, notes or whatever. Uh, I design covers and I design books and I've been posting them. Would you stop? Yeah, absolutely. Second, third time round, get better and better and better. Um, now, the only thing that I'd hoped to have finished for this novel is um, an accompanying album. Oh, it's time to go and, is it time to go and sell or did I just loot strangely? I just looted strangely. Oh, you're too big. Okay, I get you. All right, that's fine. Um, on my website, which is tomorrowward.com, C-A, T-A-M-A-R-A-W-A-R-D. There is a single uh, demo song from, where did I just send you, friend? Apparently I have something, oh, is this just weird pathing? I think it's just weird pathing, so. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't attack his friends. Okay, there we go. Sorry, 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 sorry. I didn't mean to attack your guys. Uh, pet back. Come on, let's go this way. Um, but with, uh, the pandemic and everything, it's just been impossible to get together with people, but next one, maybe pet attack. And I'm back to singing, um, to te to doing musical therapy, which is my favorite thing. Are you here? What are you doing, buddy? Veb, you know, I swear sometimes you just get the odd elemental that just doesn't know what it's doing. Sit. <laughs> Dark side of the moon. Yes. Uh. <laughs> uh, I miss the giggles, man. I miss the giggles. So yeah, I'm back. Uh, thankfully, um, everyone where I teach is vaccinated as am I. So I'm allowed to go and uh, do music therapy with a bunch of adults with special needs. And they are the most gloriously amazing, fun people on the planet. We're currently doing Christmas music because that's what they want to do. And uh, we're having the best time. So good. There we go. So yeah, that's, that's kind of life in a nutshell. Pe uh, steps doing well, except for the whole job thing, but uh, there's something our government put out that he may be able to go to school to get finish getting his counselor's degree. Um, it's for people who have been laid off. Oh, no, not like Clute. Yes. Who don't already have student debt, and I unfortunately have student debt from when I was in university, so I'm not eligible, which is sad. But he might do that, which is exciting. Looking for work, streaming. Um, I've set up a, a Patreon and a spicy after dark content page, which is not really that spicy, but you know, I'm working with it. Get him. Get him. Okay, say, say, say. Buddy, buddy, I love you. You're the best cat that ever did cat. But you've got my keyboard sideways. <laughs> ah, you're making this much more difficult than it needs to be. Hi. But you're purring. Oh, you purrer. You're such a purry boy. And we still have our dog, Molly. I didn't mention Molly. Um, she is 11 now and still acts like she's two, which is delightful. Sit. <laughs> Spicy. Yeah, don't get me started on a, on a, um, on a rant about you know, capitalism and, and, uh, doing what you need to do to make a living. The world's a crazy place right now, man. It is all about jalapenos. Like, how did you know? You know me so well. 
I believe the term they use on the internets, or at least on the TikToks, is spicy accounting, which I think is kind of stinking adorable. Oh my gosh. Oh, um, I'm also playing another game and streaming. Um, so I've been playing a lot on TikTok. I resisted it for a long time because my ADHD brain really doesn't need more distraction. But Step kept sending me TikToks to watch. And finally, I'm like, okay, all right, fine. I'll just follow one creator. 350 some odd creators later. And yeah, I'm in deep. But that being said, there are some fantastic people. And I'm learning a lot more about my ADHD because I was diagnosed as an adult. And um, through through there, I met a content creator who goes by Katie Soros. She also has a YouTube channel and she's amazing. And her and her partner have set up, let's just sit for a minute, a Minecraft server, a private Minecraft server. And she took applications for content creators who might want to be on there. They're doing kind of a hermit craft kind of thing, if you're if anybody's familiar with that. And I applied. It took me two days to get all the content and stuff to her, but I got accepted. It's really exciting. So I streamed some Minecraft. And uh, yeah, that's kind of exciting. Get him, Veb. Are you ready to go down now, Say? Oh, look, it's Phantom. Oh, oh, oh. Hold on, guys. I'm so sorry. Uh, loot all. Yes, I did not hear that Molly just came downstairs. I will tell you about my um, setup, where my computer is in a moment. But I'm going to set my headset down. I'm going to move my squeaky ass chair. And I'm going to let my dog out. So, just one moment. Hi, Mom. Yes, I know. Do you want to go outside? Do you want to go outside? Let's go play in the snow. What? All right. Dogs and cats and everyone here. All right, I'll give you treats. Go get them. There you go. Treats for everybody. All right, maybe that'll quiet them down. All right, sorry about that. <laughs> so uh, we have my... Yeah, Katiosaurus. Isn't that adorable? Um, her thing is dinosaurs, and I think it's so cute. Um, so... Pet attack! We have my computer and my uh, three monitors and everything set up downstairs. We have a, a finished basement and it's kind of in a corner. Hey, Mr. Prawn, that was rude. I do believe she does. Um, the, the unfortunate thing is it's kind of in the open. It's kind of by the back door. So I do have to let the dog out when she needs to go. And uh, it makes for not the best sound in the world. But we are currently, we have this, it was a bar, basically. It's it's a wooden bar and it's set into the corner of uh, um, the big open space of the living area. And uh, so we are kind of converting it. Pet attack. Get him. Uh, we're putting a door. I am putting some acoustic tiling when I can afford it over the space where the, the empty part of the bar, you know, where you'd set the beer bottles. And we're going to turn that into a little recording space. It should be perfect size. It should give me really good sound so I can do more uh, singing recording and maybe narration recording. I don't know yet. We'll see. But it's a work in progress and it's not entirely cheap. You know. So uh, that's the plan, which is pretty. <laughs> I love your little singing kitties. It, they look like the kittens from the Aristocats. Everybody, everybody, everybody wants to be a cat. Pet attack, get them. Oh, I've got 100% mana. I get talking and I forget what I'm doing. Some things never, ever, ever, ever change. Uh, you. Get him. Let's have a look at my... Ooh! Getting there. This. So we have lots of plans in the works. Um, one thing we did manage to get done this year, though, our front porch has been... It's, it was dreadful. It's needed replacing for the last two years. Um... 
and we were finally able to replace the porch, which is awesome. It looks so pretty. Better yet, it's safe. So that's exciting. Oh, they're so cute. Oh, so good. Yeah, it was one of those things that wasn't going to have another year. At all. <laughs> and we were lucky enough to find people locally who are just the most amazing people. And, um, hey, what just happened? Oh, so I should warn you, if you haven't been here in a while, that for some reason, my EverQuest, if I move my mouse off the screen, even though I'm in full screen, it's had attack it drops. The full screen drops and that's my desktop that you see. I'm still trying to figure out what's going on, but that's a plan for, that's a job for another day. So forgive me if you suddenly see my desktop occasionally. It's not broken. Well, sort of, but it, it just takes a sec to fix. Um, the fellow who lives with us, who's been my brother's friend since forever, he's our uh, boarder. He came into some money last year and he offered to pay for it as a gift because we've known him since he was a kid. He's kind of like another kid and he wanted to give my mommy a present. <gasps> yes, I would love some help. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Get him. Sit. Woohoo! Most excellent. All right. More bats. Do, do, do. So yes, yeah, safe porch for mama. And it's making her much more um, relaxed. So for anybody new. Yep, I'm a grown-up. <laughs> um, Step and I moved back in with my parents a couple of years ago to help them out because my dad wasn't doing great. And uh, we just decided that it makes more sense to stay here. And uh, so we're a multi-generational family, and it works most times. It's hard sometimes being an adult in a parent's home, but my mom's awesome, so... It makes it less difficult. And it also just means there's more people to watch awesome TV with you. Because we all tend to have similar similar tastes. We're very excited. We started watching uh, Hawkeye this week. And finished watching Leverage Redemption, which was phenomenal. If anybody hasn't seen it and watched the original Leverage. Oh my gosh, so good. <laughs> yeah, I love my mama. She's pretty good. She's a pretty nice lady. A little kooky, but hey, aren't we all? Oh, hey, you're carrying something that I can sell. Get them. All right, little. How's my... Oh. oh, yeah, we're getting a little encumbered. I think it's time to head back. And go sell stuff. Oh, there's my water. <gasps> oh my gosh. So, Old Leverage was something I've rewatched like so many times. Hold that thought while I let my dog in. Hi, Bean. Hi, little jelly bean. Come on, Molly. There you go, babe. She didn't want to stay out too long because we have snow. It's a little chilly. So I loved the original Leverage. And I, I was not really trepidatious, but, you know, I thought, okay, well, we'll see. And I knew that uh, the Nate character wasn't coming back. So, but the, all the rest were. And I heard that Noah Wiley was coming and I've loved him since ER. So I thought, okay, we'll give it a try. Oh my gosh. I'm doing the little happy fist shake. Uh, it's so good. I don't want to say it's better than the original. But it's pretty close to better than the original. Um, the two new additions to the team. Noel Wiley's character and uh, Hardison's little sister, Brianna. 
genius. The chemistry and the old magic is there. And the whole storyline that brings them all together is just phenomenal. I can't say enough good things about them. Last night I tweeted at IMDb and Dean Devlin, who does the show, and said, all my family wants for Christmas is Leverage Redemption Season 2 announcement. <laughs> because, oh, so good. That is the guy. That was John Carter. Um, but he also was on a show with Christian Kane, who plays Elliot Spencer. So they've worked together, called The Librarians, which was kind of a sci-fi show and the chemistry between them is fantastic yeah dean devlin has done a ton of stuff he's like og television guy and has done a ton of stuff i'd have to google what he's done but he's done a lot and he is the person who is in charge of i guess he's the creator of leverage and it's been really good and of course i watched squid game because that is so totally my jam. And it was phenomenal. Yeah, Dean Devlin, D-E-A-N. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Get you. Oh, but I want you too, because you have a sword. How's my money situation? 15 platinum, because oh my goodness, does um, do spells ever get expensive? Get that one. And currently, Step and I have started watching season two of Beastars. I can understand. Um, for me, Squid Game. Because of the type of show it was, I knew it was going to be really hard. Like, I don't think I would watch it right now because I'm too emotionally raw, but I, I kind of knew what I was in for. Um, I've, I watched Alice in Borderland, which is, I think they call them battle Royale shows. Um, but that was, I, I liked that even better. But, um, for me, I think the character growth and, uh, the plot twists were phenomenal. There was one episode that absolutely gutted me. I've not been gutted by TV since Rose left Doctor Who. No, since Donna left Doctor Who. That was way worse. Um, yeah, I'm a nerd if you haven't noticed. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it was it was good. I needed a palate cleanser after that for sure. It was a bit. It was a bit heavy. Um, Hence the leverage. And this is the first year in since I was a teenager, I think, that I've actually been watching any network television while it's kind of airing. My mom um, PVRs everything. And so there's a list of stuff. Like we're watching the Dan Brown um, thing, the, the new miniseries. And we watch Dr. Death, which my mom nicknamed Dr. Dickhead. <laughs> um, mostly for the cast we started watching that and uh, I've been watching The Equalizer which is really good sounds like all I do is watch TV which is not entirely untrue um, a couple of nights a week we watch TV with mom and we catch up on everything for the week oh Oh no, did I let my pet die? I did. This is what happens. All right. Oh, you're a big guy. So let's not let me die. Eep. See, when I talk about stuff, I, uh, all right. So we need to, we need a new pet. Where am I? I need to get my, um, my bearings. So we're heading over this way. No, we're not. We're heading over this way. All right to the lift. And I did it again. I am made of wind this morning. Oh, anime. Oh, anime. I love anime so much. I'm like three years new to anime mostly, but I've been watching a... <laughs> oh, 
Oh, distraction. I love it. That's awesome. It doesn't take much to distract me. Uh, yeah, we watch a lot of anime. Um, different stuff. I'm always open to try new, new things. We're, I'm currently uh, two episodes into Mobile Suit Gundam. Step really wants to expose me to the like really OG stuff. And it was the first couple of episodes so much better than I expected. Actually, I don't know what I expected, but it, it's really good. Um, we got through, not got through, we chewed through Eva, which was amazing. Yeah. Steps like late eighties, nineties, old school, um, you know, direct to video anime guy. So, and I'm, Hey, what's, what's just been released. And there's a bunch of YouTube creators that we follow. Aki Dearest and, um, who's the guy. There's another guy and we watch them to see kind of what's new. And then we find some stuff. High five step. Yeah. I'll tell him he'll be thrilled. He'll love to talk anime with you. Um, Um, on my list of things to, as I say, we started uh, season two of Beastars. We're like two episodes in and boy, is it a different kind of flavor from last season, but I'm, I'm excited to see where it's going. And we're also about to start season two of the promised Neverland, which I've been excited to watch. I mean, I also watch things like Oren High School Host Club. That was one that I was, I kind of dug my heels in. I'm like, I'm not watching this. It's a harem anime. I don't want to watch harem animes. They're dumb. <laughs> it's so self-aware and delightful. It's so funny. I loved it. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's so good. It's so good. He loves Oren. It's so good. Uh, the other one we're watching is, uh, uh, oh my gosh, Magical Girl Utna. I think that's what it's called, but Utna. And wow. It is ridiculous. That's why I love it because it's so incredibly self-aware and kind of poking fun at all of the kind of um, tropes. I don't have, hi Roland, um, welcome by the way, uh, I do not, this is my very first character on Mischief, I've never, never been here before, I just started this character on the weekend to try out, uh, my OG characters from way back in the day are on 7th Hammer, and then I have 150, uh, 111, almost, yeah, 111 on Fury on a V, and those are kind of where I normally play. But I decided I wanted to try something a little more old school. And I love it. So I'm still at the stage where I'm looting every single thing that I I um I get. Let's not lose track of what we're doing. Rest in peace, last Earth guy. I won't let you die, Geb. Well, I might, but I'll try not to. We'll try to split attention between talking and and little dude. Play Bolt! I'm really enjoying the server so far. Everyone has been really sweet. But I mean, that seems to be the common thread through EverQuest. Um, the community is phenomenal. I, with everything that's going on over at um, Blizzard... I just, I just can't do, I just can't do wow anymore. It just feels kind of gross. I've met some really nice people playing wow, but a lot of toxic stuff over there, but I have not found that over here at all. Everyone has been fantastic. <gasps> yes, please. I would love to do that. That would be so, so amazing. I've been playing with uh, Ginny on Furiana V off and on, trying to find places to level her solo. And uh, there's been a lot of death. <laughs> uh, yeah. Yeah. A lot of death. So I would love company. That'd be so amazing. Here you go. How, how's your health? You're fine. Pet attack. Go get him. So 
so yeah, the uh, the people here are great. I had a random high level guy come yesterday. Whoops. Oh yes. And and tra and give me this. My first stat piece, which is exciting. Um, that was my favorite thing in OG EverQuest. When I finally got to like level fifty, I could bring my mage over and um, summon pet kits to give away to people. Uh, Nick and I would go buy up all the low level robes and, you know, stuff like that and come and give it all away. And it always felt really nice and exciting to help out uh, the little lobies. It's so fun. But even in, in chat, people have been great because I had a few questions. I It doesn't specifically say what expansion this is. This particular server is too and people were really nice no well why don't you google it kind of stuff um, just really kind people I love the EverQuest peeps oh yeah Saturdays work for me I uh, don't have a lot going on right now pet attack get them um, basically, I, I do music therapy on Wednesdays, usually between 1030 and 1130. And I have an occasional gig. And by occasional, I mean I have one coming up on the 11th. Go. Other than that, <laughs> my days consist of job searching, writing, house organization, crafting, uh, helping mama with stuff. So, yeah, not a whole lot of stuff going on. Trying to figure out this thing called building a brand, which goes against everything that feels natural to me. Um, oh, which brings me to something I should have mentioned. Pet attack earlier. For those of you who have been around for a while, um, this channel used to be called Girl in Real Life. And uh, that name came about years ago, Pet Attack, because I would very frequently, usually in WoW, get messages like, you're not really a girl. Girls don't play uh, video games. So I was being very clever and kind of preemptive striking and being like, look, don't even. Um, but <laughs> girls don't exist on the internet. That's right. But right now, uh, the way the the way things are going and um, the way we're really trying to make the world more inclusive and trying to keep make people really comfortable. I, it doesn't feel that really a girl just doesn't feel good to me. It doesn't, it, it feels um, like it can be misinterpreted. I am a very, attack. I'm a very strong advocate for trans rights and uh, the LGBTQ plus community of which I am a member um, so I don't ever want to feel like I'm making somebody feel uncomfortable or making a declaration that can be misinterpreted. And I realize it's probably a little, oh my goodness. Thanks. This is what I mean about the, about the community. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh. The best people. <laughs> that's right. But dab, that's kind of, oh, oh, Roland. Thank you. You are so sweet. This is going to make life so much easier. I'm just going to sit here and finish medding my meds. So, so I decided that um, if it didn't feel good in my brain, I was just going to change my, my uh, branding. I'm not entirely happy with the um, design of everything yet, but I figured tea with Tams because that's kind of what I'm all about is, is sitting here with my tea because y'all know I, I'm not a coffee person. And uh, just chatting and playing and casual and fun. So that is why I changed it. Just because it made me feel more comfortable. So, yeah, that's my big story. Ah, I love your little hearts. Those are the best. So good. Oh, buffs are the best. Are you a ranger?
Oh, you're a druid. I love druids. Druids and rangers. So. Aw, oh, thank you for endorsing the messages. I just want to be a part of bringing awesome into the world. Um, I am a nerd fighter. And if you don't know what a nerd fighter is, um, look up. Ooh. Hank and John Green. They're kind of some of the best people on the internet that I've, I've encountered. Oh man, is that making a difference in, in, in how fast these guys go down. Look at that. Oh, thank you so not much. Your druid is so pretty. I think that's probably why I keep coming back to EverQuest because people are kind. <gasps> You've met Hank. Oh, Roland. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I can't thank you enough for the buffs. That's fantastic. All right. We're going to go. <gasps> oh my gosh. Missoula, right? Oh my gosh. Please tell me he was nice. He seems crazy, but he seems so nice. I mean, they've set up an organization to, to bring down um, infant mortality in Sierra Leone because it was just so awful and people were dying by the thousands. And I think that's pretty cool. He's quite chill. Oh, good. I love him. He loves science and he's all about putting good into the world. And I can get behind both of those things. All right, go get him. Bum, ba -da -dum, ba -da -dum. Okay, you go get pet attack. Oh, okay, this is so fast that I don't think I'm going to need to sit. How is my, oh, is it time to, to, to sell again? No, not quite. Okay. Get him, buddy. He's so cute. So what I'm looking forward to is when I can go to Butcher Block and camp the goblin camps because um, goblin heads and goblin blood sell for like four and two platinum. Nice. We are trying to start up a nerd fighters um, group in my local area. We have a bunch of people, uh, and uh, it's just great. Such a good community. Pet attack. Whoosh. Attack. What do I have around me? Nothing. I'm killing everything so far. Oh, hello, Skelly. Oh, okay. I'm not going anywhere. I'm just going to sit, right? Oh, just let me loot this. I'm going to sit. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. You are the kind. Oh my goodness. Woohoo! So, how is everyone else doing? Thank you so much. You are so kind. This is awesome. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Rings. Oh my goodness. I have rings on my fingers. I just need bells on my toes. You go there. <gasps> Look at this. 
here. Have that. Oh, you know what? Have that. There we go. Oh, and a mace. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. Oh, wow. Thank you so much. These are fantastic. Woohoo. All right. Here. Every little bit of armor class helps for you, I guess. There you go, buddy. And oh, you don't want that. Fine, don't wear my necklace. See if I care. All right. Well, I hope you have a uh, a good day. Absolutely, please do. Um, feel free to send me messages. I uh, I miss chatting with you guys, and I'm so excited to be back. So take care. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to, you ready? Whom? Oh, that's my lower level spell. All right. There we go. Say hi to everyone for me, by the way. And I will send your high fives to step. Loot all. Yes, please. We, we, I guess I better go sell quickly because. Oh, speedy feet are the best feet. Oh, Ginny, look at you. You've been spoiled. Oh, my goodness. So let's get rid of some of this stuff. Ooh, I like when I get the cracked staff. Cracked staves, I suppose? They sell. Oh, that's right. That's just a that. I don't know that I need wasp wings for anything. Is that it? I think that's it. Royal jelly. All right, back we go. Aw, roll in. Thank you. Hold on, I need a sip of water. There we go. All right. I'm going to nuke you because, yes, loot all. Yes. Apparently, I cannot loot and nucleate. Yes, that's a word. Nucleate. Melee attack. I'm a melee mage. Ha ha ha. Aw, thank you so much. I'll be here bashing stuff with my... With my mace. Oh, that's satisfying. Well, look at that. So as you've probably heard, I love anime. I also love scary movies. Love scary movies. So if anybody has any suggestions of things to watch, please feel free to let me know. I think later today, while I am working on a bunch of stuff I need to get done, um, I need to format my, um, my novel for hardcover because it didn't work properly. And it comes in on December 1st, so... I think what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to watch a bunch of uh, horror Christmas movies like Black Christmas. Oh, so good. Maybe both of them because there's a remake as well. The first one is Canadian. <gasps> oh, nice. I Oh, man. Oh, nice. That's awesome. I have a ridiculous passion for scary. And, and it's everything. Like, I, I love stupid, awful B-movies as well. I'm a very easy-to-please person in 
all regards. Um, it takes a lot for me to be like, eh, I'm not going to watch this. I love horror so much, in fact, that I've already set up another YouTube channel. I don't have content yet because I just haven't had time, but it's called Fox's Frights. And it's going to be uh, looking at all sorts of different movies and TV and anime and stuff and talking about them, but from kind of a, a positive bent, not critically pulling them apart, but talking about, you know, some of the really cool things about it, um, stuff like that. Whoa, when I have time. More when I have the, um, the mana to do so. I haven't seen Lake Mungo. Okay, where's my pan? Hi, Salem. Guess who's back? Salem's back. Back again. I need a pen. Hi, buddy. I know. It's hard to be a cat. M-U-N-G-O. I'm going to look that up. I have on my desk, um, I got some foam core, a big sheet of it, and then I just cut it down to, to a square and put it on my desk because I'm a doodler and I'm a fidgeter. Um, I'm pretty heavy in the H part of the ADHD. And uh, so it's really easy to write stuff down is what I'm saying. <laughs> I, I liked Lake Placid. It was fun. I mean, Bill, Bill Pullman and, and Oliver Platt and Betty White. I mean, she's pretty awesome. But yeah, that's its own kind of kind of genre. To me, that kind of uh, fits in with... Uh, other comedy scary movies i do like i do like me some stuff like that um i do love Shaun of the dead i'm a big british generally british content in general but uh simon Pegg and nick frost pretty good okay yeah no no salem that's enough so the sad part about salem he's 16 he's my main coon uh, is he's deaf now and talking to him does absolutely nothing. And because he can't hear himself meow, his meow has gotten progressively louder. And while it's kind of cute, uh, he figures because I'm not doing what he wants, which is put him on my lap, I can't hear him. So he's just going to sit and yell at me. He's such a brat. Look, it's an orc prawn. Do, do, do. All right. There you go. Down you go. Urf. Hey. Oh, I'm getting close to dinging. When I ding seven, I'm going to see if that enchanter is there now for the quest, or if, in fact, he's just not part of the game yet. Loot all. Yes, please. All right. I need to go. Do I need to sell? How's my, how's my inventory? It's a problem with being little. I'm okay. Orc prawn. Attack. I hit you. I hit you with my mallet. Hey. Hey. Come back. Friend. I use the term friend loosely in this case, I suppose. Hi. <laughs> Goodbye, Mr. Drone. There we go. Looted. Pixies make the funniest sad noises. All right, I'm going to sit and med. I'm going to send you in there because you have buffs and you should be able to take it, my friend. Oh, dum dum. Go on. 
There you go. Wave your hands in the air. Flute. Head attack. Oh, I guess I could do this too. Head attack. There you go. Oh, I think my damage shield killed him. There we go. So yesterday I was doing a bunch of stuff. I have a bunch of jewelry that I've made that I'm getting ready to post on the marketplace and uh, I need something to watch. And I went to Tubi, which is a free watching thing and just kind of scrolling and saw a disaster, like a really cheesy, you know, those ones where you're like, oh, hey, that's that actor from that soap opera. And there's that B-lister from blah, 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 blah. Not bad enough to ever turn off and good enough that you kind of want to know what happens, but you can still do other stuff and not worry too much. So I started watching, watched to the end, and I found out that on Tubi, if you let the credits run to right to the end, it will, If I guess if you have it clicked, I didn't know I did, it will autoplay another film that it will select for you from that type of genre. And oh boy, did I go down a rabbit hole of disaster films. Um, I got four deep, got four watched, and then the fifth one was called Solar Flare, and it was British, I think. Um, and it was about this solar flare that hits the earth and, you know, radiates people, kills them, but it also turns them into zombie-like creatures. And oh my God, was it hilariously awesome. So yeah, that was kind of neat. Do, do, do. This is not... You are not the gods I'm looking for. Help me, I'm lost. How do I get so turned around? Because everything looks the same. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where it happened. The room where it happened. Oh man, do I need a drink? There we go. My voice is dry from talking. All right, up we go. Doop -doo -doo. This is not the, mm -mm. this is not the one. That's fine, I'll just sell to you. I don't think you mind, do you friend? It's amazing how quickly you become full, encumbered. Are you ruined? No. Oh, high quality. I don't know what I can do with you, but I'm sure it's something. Gonna have to pull up some old guides, I guess. Rusty rapier, rusty battle, something or other. And you, and you. Let's just do this. There we go. All right, so I don't know why I'm on this. Oh, I'm at the Priest of Discord one. I see, and I think it's kind of this way. Oh, it's right there. Ha, 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 there's the other silly. Ooh, what a pretty kitty creature thing. It's got a horn. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. 
All right, so what do I need? I need to med for a moment. Let's sit. Where's my pet? Um, Geb? Buddy? Pookie, sweetie, baby? Oh, I bet you any money he is underneath underneath this somehow. Silly thing. Oh, uh, hi, who are you? Groups are fun. Oh, you know what I could do? Oh, 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 guess what I can do? Guess what I can do? Ha, ha, ha. No, not beg. I don't want begging. What are you doing? Spam. Work with me. Uh, this is what I want. I want bind wound. Might as well work on my bind wound while I'm here. Look at that. That's so cool. I forgot. It's been a long time since I have... Uh, I have to work on skills like this. Oh, she's already seven. Oh, there we go. Oh, I can't actually do anything until I'm done. All right, let us minor shield myself. There we go. Pet attack. Oh no. Oh good. That's fine. We'll just do that. We'll let them deal with it because I don't know. Pet attack. Oh, she's an enchanter. I didn't notice the, the seal, the shield. CB. Oh, crush bone. Um, Only on for another 20 wins or so. Uh, yeah, let's try. All right, I need to... Nah, it should be fine. All right, so where am I going? I need a map. Uh, crush bone is this way. <gasps> Ding! Sheer. Did it actually work? Oh. It didn't. Oh. Oh, it's not P, it's G. I'm only on for another 20 in time. Current. Uh. Apparently, spamming. Yeah, let's give it a go. All right, there we go. Try to attack them. I guess I could have just, you know, slash sc scroll up, but uh, remembering to do things. Where am I? Where am I? Oh, this way. No one else was in the room where it happened. The room where I don't know why I have that stuck in my head. Uh, pet attack. Don't kill my enchanter friend. I really need another chat window. Uh, new chat window. Let's set this for a uh, filter group. There we go. Uh. Mm. 
North Landing. Oh, nothing landing. Okay. Oh no! <gasps> head back! Head back! Ah! Ha! Ah, 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 ah. Get pet attack! There we go. All right. Got some pathing issues. Oh dear. Oh no. All right, so apparently this is set, should be set to group. Oops, sorry guys, hold on. Sorry, apparently I left my um, ringer on my phone and my brother's calling me, but he's gonna have to wait. Uh, channel, group, there we go. All right, sit. There we go. I want this to be the... Oh, you know what? We just take off a uh, group. That's how this works. Okay. Oh, it's been a while since I've had to figure this stuff out. I haven't grouped in a while. At least not with somebody that I wasn't live with. Oh. Um, Sadara said that I need to get him out so I can med while doing stuff. And I'm like, one day, this is my first character here. Why are you not going here? Oh, because I didn't set this. There we go. Goodness gracious. Poor Len and his buffs. 
All right, there you go, man. Sit you go. We're going to sit down. We're going to med. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. It's going to be fine. But no one else was in. I have Hamilton in my head. I mean, it's not a bad thing. It's just... It's in my head. Doom, 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 doom. Little bit more mana. No one else was in the room where it happened. Dum 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 da dum da dum. Thomas claimed. Ah. Uh, Ah, she gave my guy some, some strength. Who's he? Oh, he's a centurion. What the heck's with the pathing? Oh, geez. <sighs> ah, cannot type and run and hit and kill and stuff. Ah. Uh. I'm going to go around. So This is intense, man. I did question our ability to, to kill these guys at this level. I mean, a mage meleeing with a... <laughs> with a, um, you know, hammer thing. We are doing so little, so little damage. Ow, my most of me. He's hitting my pretty face and it makes me sad. All right, your turn. Your turn, Frenzo. Let's go. I am a battle mage. I will beat thee. I will smite thee verily. Don't hit my pretty friend. Hit me. Oh, hit me. There we go. Sit on your butt. Ugh. 
Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. I need to head out. Thank you so much for the killing help. Alright, so we're going to head on back. So let's see if I can figure out how to get back to where we need to get back to. This, uh, yeah, let's not run through the, the uh, camp. Sounds like a good idea. All right, running, running, running. We. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun. Everyone has been so kind. And um, thank you everyone so much for, for hanging out and chatting and Thank you, Roland, so much for the gifts. Oh, my goodness. Ginny is a spoiled brat. I think that's probably the only reason she lived through that little experience there. Bum, ba, da, bum. I'm going to head up here. But, yes, I believe it's time for me to head for lunch and to get some other stuff done. Um, I am looking to be back tomorrow. Probably 1-ish Eastern would be my guess. I will tweet. Uh, when I'm going live, so feel free to follow me on social media. Um, all of my links are in the down below. I have a list of them. If you're interested in supporting the channel, there is um, a buy me a coffee, well, tea, obviously. <laughs> there is a Patreon, there is a wish list, uh, there is a spicy, um, um, you know, account where you can subscribe and such. Um, but yeah, so thank you. I've had, oh, this has been good, so good for my brain. It's been a hard week and just having sweet, wonderful people to chat to has been so helpful. So thank you so much for hanging out. And even if you're not chatting, I see you and I appreciate you being here. And um, yeah, also feel free to check out my no my first novel, which goes on sale. December 1st, if you're into um, urban sci-fi, no, not sci-fi, uh, urban fantasy, or you just want to support a new writer, feel free to, to, to check it out. Uh, T-A-M-A-R-A-W-A-R-D dot, dot C-A. I believe it's a dot C-A. I am a Canadian. And uh, you can find out information about how to get stuff when it is ready. There's also a trailer. So if you're curious about the plot, um, I made a trailer. I had a trailer done. And you can go check it out there. It's pretty cool. I'm really proud of it. So anyways, until next time, thank you so, so much for hanging out. I know I keep saying that, but it's true. Um, yeah, so until then... Please take care of yourselves. Be kind to one another. And uh, I will see you all again really, really soon. So thanks, guys. Bye.